So I'm Virgil Vyasnov, I'm an associate professor here at MBI and I also hold a joint appointment with the CNRS in France. And the project I'm going to tell you about today is our project to try to understand how uh, secretory lumen, which are secretory cavities that exist in your, in your um, liver, develop into tubes during the morphogenesis or the creation of this liver. And the approach we took was an approach which is, was in, vi in vitro and we were trying to reconstitute the conditions into which the cell would grow in the liver and try to monitor how the canaliculi, which is this uh, lumen where the bile is excreted, how this canaliculi uh, grows. And the precise question we were asking was how come these canaliculi are growing because of bile secretion, which is by definition an isotropic uh, phenomena, which means that the, the, the lumen and the cavity should grow in all direction. How come this cavity actually grows into thin tubes which are about 500 micron long and 2 micron in diameter? So the question we precisely asked was how much the environment into which the cell grow influences the shape of this, of this lumen? So to answer this question, we had to devise a new in vitro technique to grow these uh, canaliculi. Uh, and to grow these cells. And the way we did it was to create artificial macro niches, which are small cavities into which we can put one or two cells. And we create a contact between these two cells and they grow a lumen in between. These cells are contacting the sides and the, the, the cavity in a very precise manner because we are able to uh, precisely control the adhesion property of this cavity. So we call this approach um, a minimal organ because you create the conditions as if it was in an organ and you look at the development of one morphogenetic process. So we had a direct measurement of how a lumen extension is actually driven and uh, has cues from the environment to grow into tubes rather than into a sphere. Uh, that discovery, of course, didn't exclude uh, the fact that there might be, and there is certainly, direct signaling, direct, uh, chemical, biochemical signaling coming from the adhesion of the cells to the wells, but we found out that mechanical tension was playing a critical role into driving these, uh, these canaliculi. And I think that this is one of the first times that mechanical forces are actually associated to this uh, morphogenetic process, uh, which uh, occurs at the level of two cells.